See, my radio just went up and it says crisis. Yeah, crisis. That's how, that's how NPR starts your day, I guess. What happens right now in Ukraine, it's an absolute genocide of, uh, you know, that Russians are trying to, uh, you know, kill everything that is Ukrainian. Anything that is identify Ukrainian people, uh, this is what they do. If my mom is in Ukraine. Um, <clears throat> I have cousins in different parts of Ukraine, but mostly uh, some of them still in Kiev because they're in medical field and they they're trying to help. And, this is a tragic moment for for Ukraine and every single Ukrainian. You know, it's not a normal day, you know, being an immigrant here in the United States. You know, uh, you know, we have family of three kids, and you know, my wife were musicians and teachers, and we do lots of outreach programs. You know, the life doesn't start normally like, uh, uh, you know, regular, uh, you know, American would just get up and have a coffee and nice breakfast. You know, you might just get up in the middle of the night and check on your mom, how she's doing in Ukraine, because you're constantly checking on your relatives and, you know, on my wife's side, my side and, and friends. I have some friends who are in the military. You know, sometimes when you don't have a good connection, you... You're paralyzed for minutes. You know, you don't know how to, what to think of. Uh, you just don't know how to go about it. And when you're going to talk to this person, you know, uh, this is, this is how our day is going now for what? 21 day now or, or just about, you know, we have a very, um, you know, a rich, rich culture in Ukraine and dance is a big part of it. Uh, I would say there's a perfect trio that we would call music, dance and food. They all go together so well. So the dance, you know, the way they represent their different steps, different costumes, you know, for each dance, uh, dancers usually in Ukraine wear different costumes. We represent West, Central Ukraine, and East, and, uh, you know, those many, many different states and regions that we have has its own costumes and dancing steps to follow. Uh, and, and music is rich too, especially in the West part of Ukraine where we share borders with with beautiful countries, you know, that I just mentioned, and more, Romania, Hungary, and, and even, uh, even, even across, uh, across the Black Sea, you know, there's a lot of, uh, Balkan stuff that, that comes across and rhythms and melodical phrases, uh, that go together. So I'm, I'm a musician, so I can speak more about, uh, music than dance, but, uh, uh, we have amazing friends who's going to be dancing with us. In fact, Roman, uh, Mikita, who was study in Ukraine, in Kiev, with the famous um, dance uh, state uh, ensemble in Ukraine. The first thing, we just had Kennedy Center last Saturday. And so we're just glad that, you know, we want to, we can bring this awareness and culture and music to, to um, this very diverse community that we live in in DC area. We're you know. peaceful people and we bring only good for the for the uh, for the world, I hope. I I believe we're we have um a, a couple of choreographies and songs that are connected to that. You can split our songs to uh to enjoyment songs that you could just, you know, enjoy and listen. A lot of lullaby songs in Ukraine that we have. A lot of wedding songs that we have. Um, that is uh, humor engaged into that, of course. Ritual songs, you know, connected to anything. Christening, you know, even when people die, there's particular songs and musical melodies to play. Uh, also war songs. War songs that come from from uh, centuries. Oh. We have in our music DNA, you know. We're, we're looking forward to be there this, this Friday and bring this... Uh, a beautiful traditional music uh, from different parts of Ukraine. Thank you. We need peace, and we have to win. If Ukraine doesn't win, if Ukraine uh, will not win, this is going to be tragic for Europe, and we're part of Europe. Yeah.